Hey, how are you? I'm Kevin Kenny. Happy holidays, and thank you for joining us on a brand new episode of Billboard in Studio. And our guest today, some bona fide hit makers are in the house. Yeah! To the tune of four top ten hits, including the number one hit on the Hot 100 back in the day, Wild Wild West. That actually, some trivia for you, kept the Backstreet Boys out of the top spot back <laughs> in 1999. Wow. So take that, BSB. Drew Hill is here! Yeah! What's up, what it is! What's that name? What's going on, gentlemen? Man, happy to be here, man. Happy yeah. to be here. Before Absolutely. we get into anything, can we draw attention to the Christmas sweaters? Because these are going on sale, I yeah, believe, this know. week or next. Yeah, you know. And they're amazing. I'm very yeah. jealous. I'm having some Christmas sweater envy right now. We Get have the dragon on there. Three colors. Three uh, colors? White, There's different colorways? Red, white, red, and, and black. black. And you can get the trilogy if you like it. <laughs> True Drew Hill fans will get the trilogy for sure. We got to talk about this album, Christmas in Baltimore. I was saying before we went live, this is obviously a great Christmas album, but above all that, it's just a great album. Like, I almost feel like you guys uh, tricked me man. into listening to a holiday album because I was just <laughs> vibing with the music. I'm like, oh, yeah, I guess, I guess they're singing about Christmas. I guess they're That's singing what it's all about, about you know? It's That's what's up. I mean, hey, uh, you know, um, there are uh, th there is a traditional song on there. Um, we actually did uh, most of the whole album um, produced and um, um, written by uh, Troy Taylor. Shout out to Troy Taylor and his team of uh, writers and yeah. producers. Yeah. Um, but we 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 do have a a, a traditional record on there um, because for me, um, and I've said this on like a thousand interviews. Um, all I Want for Christmas um, by Mariah Carey and Silent Night by, um, uh, by Temptations. The Temptations are pretty much, until you hear that, it's not Christmas. Right. So we wasn't going to sing Mariah's record, so we just went with the Silent Night. And I love that you did include that because I was going to say the sequencing of this record is something that I really appreciated because it feels like a journey through the holidays. You start with right. the intro, and then the way that you guys make Silent Night, this timeless classic, but you make it your own, to me, it like puts me in that sort of last few hours of Christmas, you know, like the, the relatives are gone, the food's been eaten, you're That's like, you, know, you got your eggnog. You got your woman with you, you know, you sit by the fireplace <laughs> under the mistletoe, you exactly. know what I'm saying, all that good stuff, you know? Seriously, though, you guys, like, you transported me there while listening to the record, especially on that last track yeah. but this is such an eclectic record what i mean is that there's a track for everybody on the record and i understand that that was something deliberate that you guys really set out to do you wanted to make this a record that everybody could enjoy can you talk about that process well i mean you know one thing for us has always been making sure that everybody who loves us can be inclusive you know with what's going on and we really just sat back and wanted to be students right now when we went in with Troy, like, okay, where do you hear us now? What do you think that we're able to do? How do we fit in the midst of everything that's going on? So he was able to, you know, bridge that gap for us. So we just, all we had to do was come in the studio and sing. And, you know, it just, every album that we did, we always try to focus on that, just making sure that if we can at least make one record for everybody, that's a whole lot of people to bring together. Absolutely, you guys certainly did that. And I gotta dive in and kind of nerd out on some of these tracks because I am such a big fan of the record. I think my favorite track, it's still early, is Getaway. And that's, that's everybody's song, favorite. <laughs> that song, I'm saying right now, that song, if any programmers are watching this right now, needs to be on 2017 radio. You know, Getaway is a so, hit, man. That I is a hit that, song. Man. The funny thing about Getaway is um, I think it could make it past the holiday because, you know, over in London, they call um, just going on vacation a holiday. So. I mean, we got a lot of holidays in the year, so I mean, we're not, you know, being specific on what holiday <laughs> is. You can always get away, so I mean, you know, it's a nice that song. Smart songwriting That's is what that is, for sure. Another song that I love on this record is Tis the Season, and what I love about Turn this song up. is that it's straight 2017 R&B, and I'm so happy you guys did that, because for anybody that was even thinking about saying that, oh, well, Drew Hill can only do Drew, Drew Hill music, excuse me, you know, the classics, you guys are in the cut in 2017 R&B on that record, and it sounds just as good. It sounds just as current as anything out no, today. That was all that Nokia, was all Nokia right there, boy. Was it really? Tell yeah. Us that. Yeah, it was, it was kind of like we got the record, and I was like, look, man, you know, people know us for singing, but nobody knows that I really like singing. So let me go on and take the, the, the hit with that one and, and just see, you know, what I could do. And, you know, everybody was in there with me, you know, helped me along. Probably like the first time that I ever went in there let somebody say anything to me when it come to recording anything. So, you know, it was just, it was fun, man. And then just to, you know, see the response. Like, we were in uh, Baltimore doing the after party the other night and the DJ ran it back twice. And it was like, oh, hey, for real, like, I ain't give you no money neither. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, song. I thought I was tripping when I heard that twice. He did play it twice. I mean, nobody else really could have sung it, you know what I'm saying? Tis the season turned up, and then they got the bottles popping and all that. You know what I mean? Yeah, we had to put the them up in you know, there. Yeah, you know. If it was good, though, man, you know, just 
being, you know, more a contribution, you know, than just standing around and looking at the girls with my eyebrow up. Man, but <laughs> but can I just say that it's, uh, it's really cool that you actually listen to the album. And dissect it. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's you know, cool, Sometimes man. you do, uh, you know, interviews with, um, you know, with dif- different interviewers and, you know, they just kind of seem like they hit the bullet points, but you seem like you kind of delved in and we really appreciate that. Well, Definitely, man. Well, I you listen you to it on your way to work, like tis the season, too. <laughs> yeah, we got to go. <laughs> no, I mean it's a tremendous body of work, and you know I bring up the topic of 2017 R&B. You guys are R&B legends, of course. Is there anybody out there right now that you really enjoy? And actually, I'd like to go down the line individually. Um, start at the end with Jazz. Who are you really like in 2017 R&B? Hmm. Um. Man. You need to start with them first. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can start. Say R&B? Yeah. yeah that's what I'm saying, R&B. Or you know, um, it doesn't I'm going to tell you who I like. Okay. Just right now, artist, Jasmine man. Sullivan is killing it oh, to yeah. me. Oh, yeah. You know she's what I'm saying? Incredible. She's definitely a monster when it comes well, to R&B. About straight up R&B. Yeah. 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 Oh, or, you know, I mean, we you know what? Music. We can be music. Just music in general. I like yeah. I like um, Eminem's new Kaylani. song. Kaylani. Kaylani. <laughs> she, yes. She's like her voice is dope, and you know her um, songwriting is dope. Uh, what's the other girl? She, Justine Sky. Mm-hmm. I heard a record that was dope. So I mean, like it, it's a lot of you know just fitting it within you know what people do now, but people wanting those melodies and the arrangements yeah. and the harmonies. You know, it, it's a few people you know creeping creeping up real real nice. I mean, Ty Dolla Sign. I mean, he oh yeah, killing the game. Yeah, yeah. Beach yeah. House Three. Yeah, he that already project, got, that's you know, crazy. So, you know. <laughs> Yeah, man, it's a lot. It's a lot of people. I mean, like you never know what I'm listening to. I'll be like, "Yo, you ever heard this?" Right? You know, I was playing, you know. So we yeah. try to listen to a little bit of everything and just, you know, feel the music, man. Yeah. But when you gotta pick one, you just gotta pick one. Right. You know, I, I just st- started saying, "All right, I'm gonna just pick one," because <laughs> <laughs> I it, I think it's really cool um, that um, we've kind of reached a point in our career where people uh, like different artists are starting to reference us in their records and stuff. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Absolutely. And in the memes. We've been memed up <laughs> ever since that Christmas album came out. You know what? Speaking of like references, you know what I want to ask you is about? You see this uh, sketch uh, that Chance the Rapper did on SNL where he was sort of paying tribute to his uh, Comeback Barack. Mm-hmm. But he was sort of paying tribute to groups like you guys. And I think there were, you know, I'm a big Drew Hill fan from back in the day. I think there were some references there to old oh, videos. Man, I got I to gotta look that up. I love oh, SNL. You, you guys would love this. That's on my bucket list. I want to I wanna, um, host the SNL one day because I, I uh, way back, when I did my um, solo album, I had an opportunity um, to do it, but I was I was too busy because you know you got to be there for a week and learn it, and I wasn't commitment. able to do it. So, Lauren, if you're watching, hey man, <laughs> let a brother host, let a brother host, <laughs> put it out there, man. Now I think your fans will be really excited to learn that this is really just an appetizer. It's a tease for 2018, and I've heard rumblings, rumors that a greater body of work, maybe even a full LP, is coming next year. Is that true? Oh no, it's yeah. definitely coming. Yeah. Drew Hill, the second coming. We have a title? <laughs> yeah. Can we That's call it. it that? Oh, yeah. That's right. Oh, right yeah, on. Yeah, All right, so, so what's the status of that right now? It, it just in it's the, it's on the way. Yeah, in the studio. <laughs> you know, we're going, we, you know, after we, after we did what we did with Troy and, you know, he was able to, to help us find our voices, you know, for now, it was kind of like, all right, cool, let's just stick to, you know, the same thing that we got going. So, you know, right back in, he's, you know, right back in the studio cooking up stuff. You know, we heard some stuff when we were initially working on the, um, you know, getting music for, you know, whatever we were going to do from, you know, some other producers. And, you know, we always expect the unexpected. You know, we like to, we're fine to hit record anyway. We just, you know, give people the opportunity and, you know, keep our ears to what sounds good. We also did this album, I believe, um, w- may have been one of the fastest LPs ever recorded. Uh, we did Christmas in Baltimore or the new one? Christmas, Christmas in Baltimore. Baltimore. Oh, okay. We, we did uh, like eight songs in eight days. Like no, we did one song. A day for eight right. days. Yeah, so right. yeah, eight, yeah. we were in there for eight days, pretty much, and we recorded a song every day. You know what I'm That's saying? Amazing. So we completed the whole so album. We, we ain't had so no it was choice. Eight days. <laughs> <laughs> it was like the eight days of Christmas. On yeah, the yeah, first you know. day of Christmas, I mean, we started. We started with the idea last year, and we just couldn't get, couldn't get it done in time. So we didn't want another year to go past with you know the momentum from like doing the Soul Train and wars and everything yeah. last year to go by, and people were like, all right, y'all still not going to do nothing? Come on. So yeah. we just we went there with everything that we know and got it done. Speaking of uh, 2017, 2018, Drew Hill, I noticed a little thing. You know, when you listen to songs on Spotify or Apple Music, at the very bottom, you know, there's credits. And I saw Drew Hill, 
LLC. Can you talk to me about Drew Hill oh, Entertainment? Because okay. yeah. congratulations on doing this, guys. Oh this yeah, no, we got we got um, we got Drew Hill uh, Entertainment. You well, know, you've been really which is um, <laughs> this is my man. You know, digging in, saying? huh? You know, it's, it's like running a company and everything now. Um, you know, bringing all our expertise and the things that we know and the things that we've been through to, um, you know, stand on our own. And, you know, Empire was uh, great enough. And shout out to Delonte and everybody over there that, um, you know, they were gracious enough to recognize what we were doing and, you know, say, look, man, I, I, this is what I see for you. Just give me a chance to show you my vision. And ever since, you know, we did that, I mean, it's been good. Everybody feels good. You know, we feel like, you know, we can be here now and still be who we are. Definitely, definitely. You guys certainly are. Now, the final question here, as a longtime Drew Hill fan, it's, it's a rumor I've heard, but it's something that I'm kind of excited about the prospect of. I've heard rumblings of a memoir or a book. Oh, yeah, no, we definitely got a book. It's it. I don't, I don't know the name of the book. Is it? Is it? But is it on the way? Is it? It's, it's on the way. It's, it's been written and is is on the way. So what can fans of Drew Hill watching right now, what can they expect from this book? Well, here, here's the thing. <laughs> we we were um, seeing, like, great... Uh, <laughs> We were seeing great um, um, documentaries done, doc docu um, films yeah, done yeah. Um, with like New Edition and um, different artists, and so we were we were uh, thinking that maybe we would want to tell our story, um, but we were told that in order to do that, you kind of uh, it's kind of best to kind of write it out as a book because then it could be fleshed out better as a film. So that's uh, that's why we're in the process of doing that. Now. Definitely, because then you get the book, and then the book can always, like you said, can turn into a documentary or a film. We did a movie or both. <laughs> yeah. With a whole bunch of fight. <laughs> Never know. It might make it to theaters. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh we did wow! Yeah, oh, God, it's Kevin so Pack, many, everybody. Kevin Pack. Pack. Oh. Wow. wow! You gotta get you one. I got one. my yeah. very own. You gotta get you one. I don't even have one of those. Does this mean I'm in the group, guys? Hey, man, look. I mean, you know, absolutely. We'll, we'll let's, sell let's more. What you got? With the let's see what you got. Cast. Come on, I don't think any, anybody wants to hear that. Oh, man, come on, man. <laughs> but uh, one, two, 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 two. <laughs> no, I am not in any notes. Uh -huh. You're making them turn red, sis, yeah, going on. I'm about, as, I'm about as red as the sweater right now. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> again, the album, it's terrific. I've said it time time again, but it deserves to be said another time. Christmas in Baltimore, it's out, available everywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, Drew Hill. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, man.